the one that created the heavens and the earth, tells us that we are His. It's a great thing. We serve a great God. You may be seated. As I alluded um, earlier, um, I'm enjoying the heat. Um, it's not, yes, it's not pleasant, pleasant, even the cold is not pleasant either. But when the heat comes, I just sit outside. I don't, um, I like air conditioning. When I go inside the house, I feel the cold. It feels nice. But when I go outside again, I just enjoy it because I know it's not for long, it's for a few days, I'll, I'll take it in. And then I'll, I'll start complaining about winter when it comes along. <laughs> Please stand for the reading of the word. It's in Psalms 1, verse 1 to 6. <laughs> 1 to 6. Oh, the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or stand among the, with sinners, or drink and with mockers. But they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted along the river bank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither, and they prosper in all they do. But not the weak. They are like worthless shafts, scattered by the wind. They will be condemned at time at the time of judgment. Sinners will have no place among the God. For the Lord watches over the path of the God. But the path of the wicked leads to destruction. The word of the Lord. Our song of celebration this morning is There is a name I love to sing. We're going to start, start with me. Oh, how I love Jesus first.
divine power, his presence in our lives, in the lives of our family, in the lives of this country. We pray today for even Vanessa Brown, who has been so faithful as a caretaker for her dad. The Lord called him home to glory. So we pray God's blessing that it's a fair home morning service. So we are the 29th doing 8 to 10 service at 10 o'clock. We pray for Ms. Henrietta Mason, who is now in Einstein Hospital. And that's God's blessing. We pray for Reverend Halloway, his wife, Ida May, for many others who are on the days of affliction. This morning, I was really struggling with how to bring this up this time of service, the prayer time. But I know no other way than to ask God to bless this president. This country is going backwards instead of forward. We cannot allow hate to reign and rule. I pray today that you will not allow hate to interfere with your worship and honor to God. Whether the person's an immigrant, no matter what their nationality, no matter what their faith may be, no matter what their sex may be. This is not about politics. It's about human rights. God calls us to be people. What does the Lord require to do justice and mercy and walk humbly with our God? So I pray even now that as we dominant African-American church will not allow this to creep into the life of this congregation to our families. I pray that you look at people the way God looks at us in the church. We pray for members of Congress and the Senate beyond politics. They'll speak out of he was done. And we cannot be quiet. So I pray this morning that number one, you especially vote and you vote. And number two, that you are against anything that would violate the rights of another human being.
who, who is in need, Lord God. And if we just call on the name of Jesus, Lord God, you'll be there with us, Lord God. Because you are Emmanuel, God with us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for those that have brought it not robbery to come today, Lord God, to brave the heat, Lord God. And such a blessing, Lord God, to help people in the door, Lord God. We bless your name, Lord God. We pray for our pastor, Pastor Juan, Lord God, that you would continue to strengthen him, undergird him, Lord God, whatever we can do, Lord God, to serve Pastor Juan, Lord God. Let us come forward, Lord God, and ask, what can I do to help you, Pastor, Lord God? We bless your name, Lord God. Continue, Lord God, to, to watch over Mrs. Kwan, Lord God. Uh, continue, Lord God, to bless her, Lord God, as she takes care of her husband, Lord God. She does so many things for him, Lord God, because he's so busy, Lord God, with the, the work of the church, Lord God, and truly a, a, a beautiful, loving wife, Lord God. That he has found, Lord God, and a very precious jewel, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, for her, Lord God. We thank you for the Quan family, Lord God. We continue, Lord God, to pray for Robin, Lord God, that you continue to touch and heal her, Lord God. All of all of the concerns that, that uh, we may have, Lord God, for the Quan family, Lord God. Lord God, we continue to pray for Bethlehem, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that you would be with us, Lord God. We pray that this would be a safe place to worship, Lord God, that, that you would keep Satan out of here, Lord God, because he has no business being here, Lord God. We bless you, Lord God. Lord God, we pray that you would bless uh, Deacon Ministry, the trustees, Deaconess, Lord God, all those that uh, serve you, Lord God, right down to the ones that work in the kitchen, Lord God, the ones that uh, do do the lowly tasks, Lord God, that you would lift them up, Lord God. We bless your name, Lord God. So, Lord God, um, we thank you, Lord God, for this day, Lord God. We thank you for the blessings, Lord God. Every day is a grace and mercy day, Lord God. We thank you for the grace and mercy that you have bestowed upon us, Lord God. It's truly a blessing to be here, Lord God, those that had to walk in with King, Lord God. I thank that, 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 that they made it here, Lord God, that they, they may have struggled, Lord God, but God gave them the strength, Lord God. Each and every day, you give us the strength to do what we need to do in the name of Jesus. And we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Baptist Church. My name is Elaine Sampson, and I welcome you. Please make yourselves at home here as we do every Sunday, every day. This is the House of Bread. We pray you will be fed. Is it not a pleasure to enter and be received with open arms? So we pray with fresh, new awakening. Fill your hearts and minds this day. Well, this is certainly the day that the Lord has made. I pray we can all rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. Pastor will personally greet each of you with a packet that you would that we would like for you to fill out. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know who you are so we may get to know you better if you don't mind. If you do have a church home, if you do not have a church home, please feel free to come and fellowship with us. And all of us are children of the Most High God. Therefore, we thank you for coming and we extend your return to fellowship with us again real soon. Continued blessings to each of you, now and always. Welcome. I am deeply appreciative of Charlotte, who has her family here, she brought them to church. I pray that during the summer when you have guests, you'll bring them to church. And Dr. A. Sam Rodriguez's sister is here. We are grateful that he brought her to church. Tell somebody, I'm gonna bring somebody next week. I'm gonna find a relative. Amen, I'm gonna find my relatives and bring them to church. Can we put on BET, Bethlehem Evangelist? <laughs> Good morning, Bethlehem. We are a few of the college students been helped by the Education and Scholarship Ministry at Bethlehem Baptist in the past school year. Welcome, Welcome to BET. The Joy Dancers are selling delicious water ice after both worship services until September 1st. The cost is only $2 a cup and will be sold outdoors in front of the main entrance. The proceeds from the sales will be used to purchase much needed uniforms for their growing ministry. Don't forget to stop by and get a nice, cool, refreshing treat from the Joy Dancers. Bethlehem, we are forming a comfort choir to minister to God's people through hymns during homegoing services. This is a much-needed ministry. Please join and lift your voice to God by uplifting someone's spirit in their time of need. The Women's Spiritual Emphasis Ministry is sponsoring a fashion show and luncheon. It will be held on Saturday, November 2nd, 2019, 12 noon to 4 p.m at the North Hills Country Club in Glenside. Come in high step with women of royalty for an afternoon of fun and fellowship. There will be vendors, door prizes, and raffles to participate in. Fashions and music will be presented by LPA. Ticket cost is $65. Tickets will be on sale after each worship service today in the cafe. Hope to see you there. Bethlehem, please join the Heart and Hand Ministry we are celebrating nine years of hope and support for our Algada's children's home. We are soaring with hope and standing on the promise in Romans 5.5. 5. Our Ogata luncheon will be held on Saturday, September 7th here at Bethlehem at 12 noon. Tickets are $20. Get yours today. We are also having a silent auction with artwork that is signed by the artist. We have authentic African jewelry and African carvings that can be purchased today. We have a Florida vacation for a family of four, up for bid. There will also be a men's and women's African garb review. For those of you who are interested in the Freedom Riders, the highest bid at this point is $50, and the highest bid for the Last Supper is $35.